What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm out in the building. Can you tell? Uh, I haven't done much since I put the sheetrock up. Uh, I did come out here yesterday and just cut a few of those and then I lost interest. Yeah, but that's how it's gonna be. And I went around today and some of these that weren't in far enough, I took a hand screwdriver because I can't find the bit. Pushed them in so I can spackle them. Uh, I went to the hardware store this morning, picked up the spackle and this little stupid thing. I, they think I'm gonna use that? Nonsense, I got a little sander. But they wanted like 30 bucks for the metal one. I'm only got to do this little job here, you know. So I did pick up a, I think an eight inch knife and one to do spackling with, so. I haven't done this in years, but I'll figure it out and we'll get that done. And what else was I gonna do in here? I think once I get that all taped, then I'll go ahead and pick up some pegboard and I think I'm gonna paint it like a light blue so it stands out or well, no, I don't wanna use the paint for the building. They give me a couple little quartz. I might use that, that might look cool put the green that's outside in here on the pegboard because that white pegboard messes with my eyeballs. I don't like it. But anyway, we're doing one last video uh, on the GoPro. I'm giving both of my GoPros away. I'm not gonna say who. It was some, you know, it's people that really needed them. I don't believe in selling things if I can give it away because it comes back to you, man. And I know a couple channels that could really use a good GoPro. There's nothing wrong with them. I just am tired of GoPros and I ordered a couple of nice ones. So you're probably going to see a little difference in the, uh, in my video skills in the next, it, they're not going to be here till Tuesday, but I do have a 4k drone that I got to do a review on, but I can't do that till I get my new camera. So Probably not going to see a new video out of me. Uh, this will be the last one till late next week sometime. Uh, not a whole lot else going on. I am going to Ollie's. Probably maybe tomorrow. I got a measure yet. And I'm going to pick up vinyl plank flooring for the cabin. I've already got a few people uh, that are willing to help. One young whippersnapper, y'all can probably guess who. Drew, yeah, by telling telling y'all this in the video, now he's beholden to it. But he's gonna be the hands and knees guy. He's gonna be down on his hands and knees. I'll be doing the cutting and measuring and all that. He's never put one in, but I've only put one in. It's simple. He can do it with my experienced expertise, you know, because I did the office. And if I may buy some cheap stuff for this building out here. Now this stuff sweeps up pretty good. I see I got some dust. I swept it up and then I took the little, well the vacuum, Where there it is in the corner. Yep. And, but I think this would be nicer with a little cheap for it. I mean, they got, I mean the cheapest stuff they got. That's what I'll put out here. But the cheapest vinyl plank, because I don't want to get that stick stuff. Ooh, excuse me, that sticky stuff or whatever. It'll be decent. And I think I can finish this stuff with what I got in the shed. Uh, it wasn't good enough for here, but I've got several pieces of that. And then I'm gonna pick up the plywood and the foam to do the winterization on the uh, screen patio out there. Cause I wanna use that as my laser room for now. And that's what's going on. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of things here in the next couple of months. I want to get all the, the unfinished projects that are in the cabin finished and finally get a floor down. Man, that's going to be so nice. But I'm going to need some help, a couple of guys, you know, to help move shuttle furniture around, uh, a couple guys on the saw. But I already pretty much got them lined up and we're just going to have a floor, man. It's going to be much easier to, well, it's just going to look better. So that's what we're gonna do there. I, I had some other projects thought up, but you'll see them when I, I'll film them when I do it. And I'm waiting on the second person that I'm gifting the GoPros to to show up. He better, 
or she, could be a she, or he, yeah, or he could identify as a pineapple. Who knows? I ain't got no idea. So we're just doing a real quick 15 minute, 10, 15 minute video here, because this is the last one for a week. And when I get the, I might, I can put up some shorts with my phone. Man, that one stupid short where I did the recola over at Ivy's Family Factorium. I know it's Factotum. That thing's up to eight grand. It's going viral right now. Who'd have thunk it? Both of them Ricola videos are doing good. Man. And I do got some new shades of our blinds that I put picked up. They're in the truck. There's some pretty nice ones put in here but there's no sense in hanging them until everything is done and painted uh, depending on how my tape job comes out I'm probably just gonna paint it white simple uh, if it comes out terrible then I'll texture it <laughs> which I really don't want textured walls in a shop I don't think that would look good because it would actually that would be a really bad idea because uh, you know if it gets sawdust going in here and dusty well, that textured stuff, it's just like mini miniature shelves on the wall that the dust, dust can settle on, so we don't want to do that. But I have taped and mudded before. It's just been a while, probably 10 years, 15 years. But I'll get it done, man. Take my time. There's no rush. This building ain't going anywhere. But I do, I notice it creaks right here in the front. Let me show you. Oh, what was that? I want to get some more block and bring it up. So see how far back those skids are? Because it's creaky right here in the front. So I at least want to get the front of it uh, a little more solid. I don't know why they didn't put three skids on this one. But that's what we got. So just a little bit more support. It doesn't need it in the back because it's, for some reason, it doesn't look like the skid in the back is as far back. Well, it is, but there's going to be workbenches and stuff there. I may put one in this corner. And you know what that means? I got to handle more blocks. And I do not like blocks. Man. You guys still there? Hello? Okay, I'm going to get off. Just thought I'd throw another video up. Yeah, I still haven't got back here. Oh, I got a story here in a minute. Yeah, we'll get this picked up. Whoever wanted them tires, come get them. I think uh, Wiley wanted them for some reason. I forgot to ask. I forgot to ask him. But anyway, uh, when I was going to town today, actually yesterday, coming back from town, I thought I saw Millie, and it was on somebody's. She was on somebody's property looked horrible i mean absolutely horrible so i turned around went back and she ducked inside of a garage but i don't think it was millie because the tail was really bushy and now that i remember millie doesn't have a bushy tail it's like a big lightning rod or something but going to town this morning i think i did see her she was eight miles down the road and by there was nowhere to stop by the time I got whipped back around, they'd already, she had a friend with them. They'd already went into the woods. I stopped, I called, you know, so, but the one I saw coming to, going to town today looked very healthy. <laughs> and she's been gone three weeks, so. You know, that dog showed up two years ago and at Jeff's. We didn't remember that was her. And then for a whole year we didn't see her again and there she was. So we'll I'll keep I'm keeping an eye out for her and hopefully she makes her way home. But you know, like I said when I got her and Tilly, uh I'm not building any more yards. And she stayed here for like a year without running off. The last time she pulled that stunt was when she got pregnant last winter. So, I mean, guys, it's such a vast area, okay? There, you, you just don't go looking for dogs if they leave. You just can't. It's too much space. I mean, there's a million acres back there of nothing but forest that is impossible to get, walk through, most of it. So, oh, these birds are cussing me. The bird feeders are empty. 
so anyway i'm gonna let you guys go so be looking maybe for next week i'll get some videos out until then happy trails who are you barking at is it the last recipient of the other gopro oh goodness who is it oh i see a van oh god i see a, a fanny pack oh my god a beard why it's peter from old man king homestead good afternoon everyone yep we're just gonna send him home with some rooster hairs yeah those are roosters they're on everything black man and a new GoPro, a new to, new to him GoPro. Thank you, Mike. So, uh, I just, appreciate he it. Pulled in when I finished the video. Figured we'd show him. Yep. Since everyone else has one already, now he doesn't have any excuse to make good videos. All right. Happy trails, guys. Go check out Peter's channel.